All right. So, good morning, Jocelyn. It's been a while since I don't see you. Good morning, Angeles. Uh, I'm very, I'm very happy to be your teacher today. Um, the plan is that we can have fun, that we can enjoy ourselves, mm -hmm. that we can learn, that we can practice a little bit. And uh, well, it's my pleasure to be here. And well, I'm gonna stop right here because I'm gonna, I will make an introduction later on. But right now, I'm my, I will say my name is Teacher Manuel. You can call me Teacher or Manuel. It doesn't matter. And I'm happy to be here with you. All right. So let's go ahead and start. Um, I will ask you to introduce yourself, but in a moment. Okay, so wait. Wait a moment. All right. So first of all, I would like to I would like to let you know. Uh, our company's name is called Gaile. This is our new logo. It's right here. And why, why is it Kaile? Because Kaile is pretty much anything, and you can express a lot of things with the word Kaile. Uh, we, you can express pretty much stay here, go over there. And I know you might not be understanding 100% what I'm saying, pero quiero que pongan muchísima atención de todas maneras, because we're going to learn a few secrets of learning English, and we're going to... Uh, we're going to practice and we're going to actively practice the language today. All right. So uh, bear with me, be happy, stay calm, and let's start with this class. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. All right. So we're going to start with a little activity to break the ice. So I like my, I like this, this this image because it's a big way to express that we need to break the ice. Let's break the ice. What does that mean? Basically means we need to get to know each other. We need to feel trusted. We need to feel confident to be able to participate because there's two secrets that I will share today with you and you need to pay attention. You need to know you need, to, you need to know these secrets and you need to take them to practice, all right? So let's break the ice. I'm happy, I'm excited. All right, let's, let's break the ice and we're gonna do it by watching three videos. Okay, this is video number one. Um, if, you're, if, if my camera and your camera is on your right side, Make sure you can move that a little bit. You're able to move it. You, you're able to grab it and drag it somewhere else so that you can see the video because the camera, it's right in the middle. All right, so pay attention to her. And I want you, my purpose with these videos is not to educate you as much, but as it is to open your mind to all the opportunities you have and the tools you have to learn English, all right? So this is what it's all about. It's about finding tools every day, new and, and more and more tools that you can learn English uh, a lot better, all right? So this is the first video, all right? TikTok, who has TikTok? Angeles, do you have TikTok? Sí, pero no lo uso mucho. <laughs> All right, Angeles, you have TikTok. Jocelyn, do you have TikTok? Sí, tengo, pero no me ha adentrado en ese mundo. <laughs> That's fine. I, I will show you where you can use TikTok. This is a very good idea. So let's listen to Luana Sanek. Bueno, siempre me preguntan cómo usar in, on, at. Así que acá va la explicación. In es para periodos de tiempo largos. Por ejemplo, un mes, in February, con años, in 2020 o in 2020. Décadas, in the 80s, estaciones del año, in winter. In siempre en periodos largos. On es para días específicos. On my graduation day, on my birthday, on the 2nd of August, on Tuesday. Y at es para horarios, como por ejemplo, at 5 o'clock. Y también para fechas especiales que suelen ser feriado. At New Year, 
at Christmas, at Easter, pero un día específico dentro de ese evento se usa on, por ejemplo, on New Year's Eve. Por otro lado, si quieres decir a la mañana, a la tarde, dirías in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, pero si quieres decir a la noche, sería at night. Son excepciones, lo siento. Si quieres decir en el fin de semana, en inglés británico se dice at the weekend, y en inglés yankee se dice on the weekend. Así que nada, ahora pueden sonar como una tipa. <laughs> I like her. I like. She is so happy. She is so uh, enthusiastic. So, really quick, Jocelyn, um, was it really hard when we visit to to understand this video? No, no. De hecho, no, no fue difícil. Y pues todo tomé nota. Wow, that's, that was pretty quick. Thank you. Yes, if you have TikTok, you can find a lot of these videos, a lot of users. And um, this is an activity we might be doing uh, continuously. Uh, you, you will find a lot of users that will help you with your English in a way that you can understand it as quick as possible in, one, in less than one minute. So that's one video for from Luana Zanek. So you can go ahead and follow her on TikTok. She's a very good uh, advice giver. All right. Now, this is not, this is a teacher, uh, but this teacher does not, um, he does not speak in the video, but he teaches us something very important. Y este es uno de los secretos para aprender inglés. All right, so you need to pay attention there. So at the end of the video, uh, please tell me uh, what's the secret that he gave us. All right. All right, that was very short. Do you want to see it again? Do you want to see it again? Are you are you good? Sí, por favor. Yo sí. Wonderful. Sure. Not a problem. <laughs> Mr. Javier Mafla. So, um, Jocelyn, what is the secret that's that's provided from Mr. Mafla? Practicarlo. No aprender las reglas gramaticales porque en un idioma pues varían algo así, pero hay que practicarlo, ¿no? Perfect. Hay que memorizar. That was a great answer, and that's actually correct. We need to actively practice the language. When we say actively practice the language, we're acquiring the language. Two different things. Learn is different than acquire. And the right word is adquirir el idioma, not learn it. So the activities that we are gonna do watching these TikToks is active practice. We're not just going and repeating, I have this, I have that. No, we're actively practicing. And watching these videos is active practice. All right, so let's go to the, the next one and final video. Perfect. So, our final video says right there. Vamos a tener una conversación en inglés tú y yo. Voy a hablar yo y después te voy a dejar aquí lo que tú me tienes que contestar para que practiques. Hey, how are you? I'm great. How are you doing? Well, I'm glad to hear it. I'm great too. What are you going to do on the weekend? Well, I guess I'm just going to stay home and watch some movies, maybe buy some stuff online. What about you? I'll also stay home and do some online shopping. That's cool. So you also like buying things online, huh? I do. Do you like coffee? Oh my God. Yes. I love coffee. I'm addicted. 
We should grab one sometime. Well, sure, that would be so nice. Let's go grab one once we can go out. Amazing. I'll talk to you later. Then. Okay, talk to you soon. Take care. Y listo, practicalo varias veces. Dale like y comenta si te gustó. Awesome. And this is active practicing. All right. Give me one second, really quick. One second, really quick. All right. Wonderful. Okay, Jocelyn. Choose one word. Escogí una palabra. I will repeat. Uh, I, I, I will uh, do that first, and then you try that by yourself. Okay? So what's, what's going to be your word? Feelings. Feelings. Perfect. Jocelyn, I feel very happy and very excited to be here with you. How do you feel? I feel very excited. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Jocelyn. Any other feeling? I'm happy. You're happy. Wow. Very good. And I'm happy to know that you're happy. And I'm very happy also because I can see you again uh, from eight years <laughs> that I met you. Thank you. Now, Angeles, are you there? Perdón? <laughs> Angeles. Uh, it's your turn, Angeles. Please choose one word. Mm, yesterday. 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 Okay, Angeles. Perfect. Yesterday, I ate popcorn. And yesterday, I saw a series called Anne with a Knee. Tell me, Angeles, what did you do? Uh, yesterday, I, uh, dame un momento, estoy acomodando mi mente. Mm. That's very fine. Take your time. Yesterday, my sister, uh, mm, ¿cómo se dice que es su cumpleaños? Perdón, fue su cumpleaños. It, it was her birthday. Ajá, uh -huh. bueno, es su birthday. birthday. Birthday? I feel very nervous. I'm feeling nervous. <laughs> That's fine. Don't worry. Um, yesterday I had homework. Mm. Yeah, very good. Yeah. You, you, yeah, you, por favor. <laughs> very good. Yes, that's very good. Dime. You had homework yesterday. Very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Yesterday, uh, oh, go ahead. <laughs> yesterday, I'm not, I'm not working. Not, bueno, I'm not, no trabajé ayer. <laughs> yeah. Mm, sí, perdón. Voy a practicar más. <laughs> That's very good, Angeles. You did a wonderful job. You did very good. Don't worry. Relax. You did very good, Angeles, actually, okay? You did awesome. <laughs> yes. So, gracias, gracias. Every day, every single day, we will repeat this activity over and over so that uh, you can get familiarized with everything. And if you notice, when we go through all the words, then you will be almost ready to have a conversation. So basically, knowing how do you feel, knowing a greeting, knowing weather, knowing what you did yesterday, knowing what you will do tomorrow, knowing what are your purposes, that basically makes you to be, uh, lets you be ready for a conversation, all right? So this is active practice. We're going to do that every single day. So right now, you can, if you're watching this video on Facebook, you can go back and choose a word and go ahead and practice. All right? Example. 
like Angeles and Jocelyn just did, you can just go ahead and say, okay, I will choose feelings. I feel happy. And you just go ahead and express everything you feel. You feel happy, you feel nervous, you feel sad. So um, you, you did a very good job, uh, Angeles and Jocelyn. So I feel that today you feel very smart. So thank you for your participation. Now let's go to the next part of the class. All right, let's go to the next part of the class where we will go a little bit more into the, the content of the class, all right? So I'm gonna change the slide and we're gonna start with the alphabet. I know you, may, you, you might already know it. So can you tell me, Jocelyn Angeles, do you know the alphabet? Repeat please for do you know the alphabet a b c d e everything you already know it mm, do, mm, sí, me lo sé, all right you're perfect that's beautiful yeah that's beautiful so uh we're gonna review it because this course was designed for people that are in a total zero, it's good that you started from here because I can see that you're sitting in Angeles. You, had a, you have a very good English right there. So we're gonna go uh, little by little, little by little. And mm -hmm. we'll, the difficult uh, level, the level of difficulty will be going higher every time, all right? But right now we're gonna start from this that is very basic. And the, one of the most important things here is to listen, all right? Uh, we do this because there's people that learn easily by looking. Some people learn easily by reading, some by writing, some of them by just, by just repeating and listening. All right, there's all kinds of people. The, the educational psychologists say that, um, that everyone's different, that we all acquire the language, but in a different way. Por ejemplo, ¿cómo es que, su, cómo es que eh, su, su, ustedes o sus sobrinos o sus hijos este, de bebés aprendieron español? ¿Cómo fue ese proceso? ¿Han pensado en eso? Sí, un poco. Pues es, es parte de que los niños van escuchando y nosotros les repetimos y ellos intentan por medio de, de van articulando poco a poco este, desde algún, no me acuerdo cómo se llama, desde empezar a gesticular sonidos y ya empiezan a armar palabras, pero nosotros, por ejemplo, en mi caso como mamá, voy repitiendo las palabras, por ejemplo, di mamá, ellos mamá, y intentan, pero es por medio de la repetición. Exacto, es, we can say that repetition is a secret, but it's not that way, it's more the environments that they live in. Porque llega un momento en que nuestros hijos usan palabras que no, ni nosotros usamos, o que probablemente muy pocas veces dijimos frente a ellos. Es más bien ese ambiente que les permite aprender el idioma, no porque ellos estén construidos para aprender español, sino porque ellos adquieren lo que viven. De igual forma nosotros, y hoy se los voy a comprobar, que ustedes hoy van a aprender algo y ni siquiera se van a dar cuenta de que lo aprendieron, de, lo, de que lo adquirieron. All right, so going back to the alphabet, we need to, we need to uh, as I told you, we need to review this. And we're, we're gonna start from the very beginning. All right, so letter A, A as an apple, A as an alphabet, A as an Albert, A as an Alejandro, A as an Angelis. All right, that's the letter A. B as in boy, B as in bunny, 
B as in brother. B as in uh, beach. All right. C as in Charlie. C as in Carlos. C as in car, actually. C as in uh, Carla. So, guys, why am I doing it like this? Because I also needed to get familiarized with different uses of the uh, of the letter. We actually pronounce this le the letters differently. Some letters, not all of them. We pronounce letters differently than than we actually um, see them because we're so stuck in Spanish that everything's going to be like but there's different pronunciations and you're going to see that today all right so when you can when you say the alphabet don't say a b c d e f g no please start by saying a as in apple a as in alejandro or b as in beto or b as in boyfriend or c as in Charlie, or C as in Carlos, all right? So I need you to practice with me. I will say my words. You can maybe find your own names, your own words. Uh, if you're watching this on Facebook, make sure that you can practice uh, what I say. Maybe you can repeat what I say, or you can find your own words, tus propias palabras. C as in, uh, let's say, carrot. So there's a lot of words. We have D as in Diego, D as in Dieter, D as in David. We have E as in Edward, E as in uh, as in estate. We have E as in Eduardo, name in Spanish, all right? We have F as in Frank, F as in family. F as in future. We have G. G as in Gerard. Okay? Listen. G as in Gerard. But we can also use G as in get. G as in gun. Or G as in, uh, uh, as in, uh, Ger as in Gerard, as in green. We have different uses of the letter G, all right? We have the letter H, H as in human. Basically, H is the lateral sound, so human. H as in humbleness. H as in humidity, okay? We have I, and this is interesting. I as in eyes. I as in igloo, right? We have different pronunciations of the letter I. So we can have I as in Isela, or we can have I as in uh, icebreaker. We have J, J as in Jason, J as in Jennifer, J as in Johnny. So pretty much the J has the same sound all the time. K, K as in kilo, okay? There's no other pronunciation for the letter K. Uh, so K, we're gonna say it uh, for pretty much kilogram, kilometer, all right? And that's for K. What other words do we have with the letter L? Okay, Lewis. Larry, Lamborghini, light. All right, so you can practice with your own words. L as in Lewis, L as in Lamborghini, L as in light. Remember, if you're watching this video on Facebook, you can stop right there, pause the video, practice with a few letters, and with a few letters, yeah, with a few words, and then you can go ahead and continue. M as in Mary. M as in Maria. 
M as in Manuel. M as in membership. Right? We have the letter N as N as in Nigeria. These consonants don't have pretty much a change on the uses of the pronunciation. These consonants are pretty much used the same way always. All right. It's more the informality or formality of the pronunciation when we when when we speak when we lose or we uh, we use the intonation up going upward or going downward. It depends on the word. Depende muchísimo de la forma de hablar si es formal o informal. Eh, el hecho de que las letras se pronuncien claramente en algunas palabras, ¿ok? Pero por lo regular este, este tipo de consonantes M, N, L tienen el mismo sonido tanto en inglés como en español y como en muchos otros idiomas. Alright, so N as in Nigeria. That's a very that's a very good example. Now O. Interesting. O as in oasis. Right? O as in uh, oven. Ah, different pronunciation. Pay attention to this. Pay attention to this. O as in open. Open. Or O as in oven. Different pronunciation. O as in Oscar, okay? Now, uh, next class maybe, I will provide you with the International Phonetic Alphabet, which will, uh, it's very useful for some people to be able to know how, there's, there's a lot of different pronunciation right there. Example, we can say blood, it has two O's in there. Or we can also say, Igloo. Ooh, it's an O. All right. So there's different pronunciations of the letter O. P as in Paul. P as in Parker. P as in painful. P as in play. And maybe you can also use P for a, a word, actually. Just the letter P might be also a word, a funny one. So, Q, Q as in queen, right? Q as in quit. So the Q sometimes will be used like, we use it in the middle, it has another pronunciation. Example, technique. Technique at the end, at the end of the word, technique has a Q. So uh, we, we use the Q in different situations. Now we have the letter R, R is in rabid, R is in rapid, R is in rusty. Interesting that there are some other uh, syllables that will sound like an R sometimes or like an F or like an S and we don't see the R there, or we don't see it uh, pretty much there. R, it's very common to have it right before the letter E, and that will, that will still sound R. Example, when we say, uh, they are happy. So that R is very important for you guys, all right? Very important for you guys. We have S as in Sam. We have S as in Simpson. We have S as in Silly. We have T as in Tom. T as in Timmy. T as in, as in Tetanus. But when the T is with the H, we say it Tetanus, right? So, there's different uses for the letter T. So go ahead and practice with this letter. T as in Tanya or T as in teacher. We have the letter U. U as in university. And this letter U is quite important. 
the letter U has a lot of different uses. So we can pronounce it as U or as U. It, 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 depending on the situation, depending on the phrase, we can go ahead and give that U. What else? We have the letter V, V as in Victor, V as in vicious. We have W, W as in whiskat. We also have W, W as in well, W as in wheel, W as in uh, work. Now, this is quite important, guys. If you're watching this video on Facebook, please pause and practice. W, all right? That's how you pronounce it. W, not W. No, please make sure you pronounce W. X, X as in Sochi in Spanish. And we can use the same word in English, actually. So X as in Mexico, right? So sometimes the X will make a stop right there, or sometimes the X will be a lateral sound as well, like the J or the H. So X, X-rays. Y, Y as in young. Y as in you. Y as in yellow. Z as in zebra. Z as in zoo. Z as zumbini. So guys, this is the alphabet. My invitation is that you can go ahead and practice it by saying different words with every letter. Not going just A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, L, P, Q, R, S, Y, Z, what? That is not gonna help you a lot. It's certainly, it's good for practice, but it's a lot better if you go ahead and practice saying the phrase. The letter as in apple. Example, A as in apple, B as in boy, C as in Charlie, D as in Dieter. E as in Edward, F as in Frank, G as in Green, H as in Human, I as in Ice, J as in Jason, K as in Kilo, L as in Lewis, M as in Manuel, N as in Nigeria, O as in Oscar, P as in Paul, Q as in Queen, R as in Rabbit, S as in Sam, T as in Tanya, U as in University, V as in Victor, W as in Winner, X as in x-ray, y as in u, z as in zebra. So this is my advice for you to practice. You don't have to use my words. Por favor, no uses solamente mis palabras. Puedes, inver, puedes encontrar tus propias palabras allí, okay? Entonces te invito a que vayas letra por letra practicando palabras y esto inconscientemente adquieres lenguaje. ¿Por qué? Porque estás practicando un vocabulario sin siquiera tener un vocabulario allí. Perfecto. Now, we're going to play a little game here. Jocelyn y Angeles, I'm sorry. You are the uh, only two students in the live session. So we're going to play a game. And this game is called the Magic Roulette. If you're watching this video on Facebook, you can go ahead and do the find this material on the Facebook group. You can download the presentation and you can play with your family. Not a problem. This material will be available for you. Okay. Now, this is the game. I will start number one, uh, Jocelyn number two, Angeles number three. And we will do two rounds of the lit because we're very few people. So um, the purpose of this game is to do challenges, okay? So I will spin the lit. Okay. Well, where? Yo voy a decidir, bueno, 
Cuando te toque a ti, Jocelyn, tú vas a decidir stop. You're going to say stop right there. Okay? And I will click the right there. And that's going to be your challenge. Okay? So, are you ready, Angelis? Sí. Wonderful, Angelis. Angelis, uh, be ready because we are, uh, the three of us are going to participate. Okay? So, let's start with me. I hope I don't need to dance La Pelusa. I don't want to dance La Pelusa, but let's see, <laughs> let's see what happens. Okay? Um, stop right there. No! My God. Okay. Okay. I don't want to do... Uh, can I try it again? Can I, can I spin it again? Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, thank you. We have two chances. Don't no worry. So, boom. Impersonate. Okay. Impersonate means to act like or actuar como. All right. So, I want to, I need to impersonate. Um, you tell me. What do, what do you want me to impersonate? Maybe a singer or maybe an actor, maybe an animal. Or you tell me, Jocelyn and Angelis. Um, cantando. Singing. Right. Sure. 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 Um, I will sing a song in English. Uh, the name of this song is um, I don't know. I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with something easy, something very, <laughs> and it's going to be a, a the Amer the United States uh, national anthem. Okay, so okay, one, two. Three. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn early light? Okay, enough. <laughs> <Está bien. laughs> um, Jocelyn, your turn. You will say, stop right there, okay? Okay. Okay. Stop your. Is, uh, come is. Stop right there. Stop right there. Okay, Jocelyn, this is going to be your challenge. You will have to smile in your camera for the next two minutes. Okay? You cannot change your. Gestures. Okay. You have to be like this all the time. Okay. And if you're going to tell us something, but smiling at the same time. Example. Okay, I feel very happy to be here. Okay, now it's your turn. Okay. Jocelyn, one, two, three. Okay. I feel <laughs> yes. very happy. Okay, Jocelyn, stay there a few minutes, okay? Okay, Angeles, uh, you ready? Sí. sí, yes. Okay, Angeles, you have to say stop right there. Stop right there. Oh, <laughs> let, let's change it for, for another one, okay? Hey, ya dije stop. It's because Jocelyn, <laughs> Jocelyn has that one already, so. Uh, try it again. Stop right there. Angeles, you need to dance. I know. <laughs> <laughs> one, one more, Angeles, okay? One more. Sí, sí. Stop. Ay, tengo que sonreír dos minutos. Okay. 
Ai, não. We have the same challenge. So, uh, I will ask you to turn your camera on and please smile for the next two minutes. Okay. Perfect, Angeles. Yeah. Yeah. Show us your teeth. Ya yeah. estaba sonriendo. Yeah. Well, so, we're going to do one more round. All right. We're going to do one more round. And, uh, just, um, I will start. So, I will say, stop right there. Oh, my God. I need to smile for the next two minutes. That's all. Achilles, your smile. <laughs> okay, so there you go. You have my smile. Just your turn. No. Okay. It's stop right there. Wow, tell a joke, Jocelyn. We need you to tell us a joke. Do you know a joke? You can do it in Spanish, not a problem. Uh, a short joke. Ok. Eh, es un chiste, ¿verdad? Una, un chiste. Yes, ma'am. Ok. Eh, un niño le dijo a su mamá, 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 en la escuela me dicen pizza. No te preocupes, Peperoni. Very good job. Quiero que un chiste chiquito. Ángeles, your turn. Sí. Stop right, right no. there. Okay, Aguilis. So, Ay. your challenge is to answer a question from the teacher. Aguilis, my question is going to be the language. Uh -huh. okay. do, you, do you learn it or do you acquire it? Mm. Que si estoy aprendiendo, perdón, ¿sí? Listen to the question. Ok, sí, otra okay. vez. English. You learn English or you acquire English. Uh, uh, learning English? Red. Are you sure? Are you learning or acquiring? Remember, remember the video of the team. Te refieres a que es mejor practicarlo, no? No solo aprenderlo. Okay. Yes, it's basically. Ah, okay. Entonces es la otra. Ah, ah sí, sí. Practice English. Acquire English. Acquire English. Very good, Angeles. That's right. We acquire the language. We do not learn the language, all right? We acquire it. So, we learn English just like babies. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. All right? Exactamente igual que los bebés, aprendemos el inglés. O la adquirimos más bien. La cuestión oh, okay. es para nosotros los que estamos un poquito más grandes que un bebé, pues uh -huh. eh, resulta un poquito más complicado el trabajo neuronal para poder... Uh, para poder Agarrar ese idioma. But we still learn like babies. All right? Ya pasaban los dos minutos. Yes, Angeles. <laughs> Ay, gracias. Okay. So, thank you very much for participating. This was very, very, very fun. Now, <laughs> our last activity for this class, the last activity for this class is going to be something very simple. All right? It's quite simple, actually. Um, the last activity is going to be the following. One question. What's your name? Hello, my name is Manuel. Can you spell it? Sure. M-A-N-U-E-L. So, if you're watching this video on Facebook, it, uh, pay attention because this is the activity that we will have to uh, do so that you can practice it with your family, with maybe in the, in the same uh, learning group. You can go ahead and find someone else to practice with. So don't feel limited. You can still practice this. Um, so I need you to pay a very good attention right here. Okay, so basically this is the, the dynamic. We're gonna choose one person. Example, I choose Jocelyn. 
Jocelyn. Um, we're going to play a little game between you and me, and then you will do it with Angeles. Okay, so Angeles, pay attention. Mm -hmm. There is a game that we all know in Spanish, all right? And it's called Rock, Paper, Scissors. Okay? Rock, Paper, Scissors. So we will use this game to interact among us. Okay, so be ready, pay attention. So, Jocelyn, I choose you. And we will play. We're going to put our hand like this and say, Rock, paper, scissors. Or rock, paper, scissors. Or Okay. Okay, so listen. Rock, paper, scissors. Now, I win. If I win, I will ask. What's, what, what's your name? Okay. Um, Angeles, Perdón. I think your microphone. Oye, oye. Escucha. Ajá, se escucha. Mucha interferencia. Sí. Ajá, sí. Okay. Yes, I can also feel the hear hear a little something right there. Um, can you hear me now? Yeah, I think it's done. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm sorry for those technical issues. Uh, I, I, I thought it was Angeles' microphone, but it's not. Okay, so, si yo gano, I will ask, what's your name? And Jocelyn will say, my hello, my name is Justin. I will ask, can you spell it? And Jocelyn will say, J O S E L I F E. Okay? If I win, if Jocelyn wins, she will ask, What's your name? And I will say, Hello, my name is Manuel. And Jocelyn will ask, Can you spell it? And I will say, Sure. M A N U E L. All right? So this is the activity. Let's try this. Let's demonstrate this because uh, there's people that are going to see this on the Facebook video. So we need to demonstrate so that they can practice as well with their family. And please, Jocelyn and Angeles, esta actividad, go and practice it with your family. Okay? So our hand like this, we're gonna say, ready, Jocelyn? One, two, three. Rock, paper, scissors. Okay, let's try it again. Sí, de nuevo. Okay, one, two, one, two three. Rock, paper, scissors. Ah, oh, no. Okay. <laughs> You're win. Okay. I win. Yes. There you go. Now, go ahead and ask your question, Yosemite. Okay. What's your name? Hello. My name is Axel. Can you spell it? Sure. M A N U E L. Perfect. <laughs> now, um, okay. Angeles and Jocelyn, please. I'm going to mute my video so you can do this by yourself, okay? So let me mute. Okay, entonces yo con Ángeles. Ready. <laughs> One, two, three. Piedra, papel, tijera. Okay. Hey. Okay. One, two, three. Piedra, papel, tijera. Okay, guys. Ah, okay. Right there. It has to be in English. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors. Scissors, yes. Rock, paper, scissors. Scissors. 
Okay. One, two, three. Rocker, paper, scissors. <laughs> and over again, yes. Again, again. Ready? One, no. One, two, three. Paper, rock, and scissors. Very good. The winner. You're the, you're the winner. <laughs> so, Angel, uh, Jocelyn, please go ahead and ask Angel is that this the same thing? Okay. Um, what What's your name? Angeles, you're muted. So you you need to unmute your microphone. And what would you come out there? Angeles, we can't hear you because you're muted. Yes, the mute in your microphone. Mm -mm. No. Nothing. Ay, perdón. <laughs> Según yo lo tenía activado, perdón. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Hello, my name is Angeles. Can you spell it? Sí. <laughs> sure. Um, A N G uh, I L I S. No estoy segura si la E, ¿cómo era la E? Era I, ¿no? Era como I. Yes, that's right. Perfect, perfect. Bueno, gracias. And we have another person here, Galaxy A30S. Um, who is this? <laughs> Hi, I'm Ariana. Ariana. Hi, Ariana. Welcome to the Ariana. Welcome to the class. Um, would, you like, would you like to participate in the, the activity or play in rock, paper, scissors? So, uh, Achilles, uh, I will play with you. Okay. Manuel, ¿podrías repetir? Es que se escucha otra vez interferencia. I, yeah, I understand. I think there's a microphone with, uh, with a little bit of, of noise there. I don't know who is it, but it's not me. But okay, let's work it out. So, Angeles, you and me, let's play. Ready? Sí, yes. <laughs> I, but I can't see you, Angeles. I need to see your camera. Ay, perdón, perdón. Otra vez. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Rock. Wrong. Perfect. I know. Otra vez. <laughs> okay, yeah. Sí. Win. Okay. Um, what's your name? Hello, my name is Giselle. <laughs> Okay, can you spell it? Sure, yes. Um, G, G A S I, no, G E, G E, I, ay, ay, espérate, ya me confundí. Giselle. Es. G I? G I S E L L. Wonderful, thank you very much, Giselle. Um, ah, um, thank you. Um, Jocelyn, can you can you try and play with Ariana? Ariana, if it's okay, can you turn on your camera so that you can play with Jocelyn? Uh, okay. Okay, Jocelyn and Ariana. Okay. Okay, ready? Okay. 
<laughs> Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Paper, rock, and teaser. Okay. Lost. You're winning. Okay. Now, so again, I go ahead and ask the question to Yoselin. What's your name? No te, no te escuché bien. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, please ask uh, Jocelyn, what's your name? Okay. Hola. Jocelyn, hi, what, what's your name? Hello, my name is Jocelyn. Okay. Now, the next question, Ariana, is can you spell it? Como? Yes, the next question you're going to ask is can you spell can it? You spell, can you spell it? Can you spell it? Sure. J O S A L I N E. Perfect. Very good. Yes. <laughs> you did a very good job. Thank you very much, Ariana. Thank you very much, Jocelyn. Uh, so, guys, um, that you, you, you guys that are here, you can do this activity with your friends, with your family, and I don't know. No sé si ustedes ya lo habían hecho, but uh, si no habían jugado rock, paper, scissors en inglés, ya aprendieron a decir piedra, papel o tijera en inglés. Eh, sin, sin siquiera poner énfasis en eso, ¿no? So, guys, thank you very much for being here. This is pretty much it for today's class. I'm very happy and I'm very, I'm very blessed to be here and to be your teacher, all right? So, I will see you next uh, Friday with the class. So, you're... Uh, on the Facebook group, you will see some evidence that you need to turn in. So basically, it's something really short. It's not a lot of homework, no. It's something very short so that you can practice, all right? So uh, on the Facebook group, you're going to find this video. Um, after this class, uh, we'll also make a Q&A session. Right, right now, after this class, we're going to have a, a Q&A session. What is a Q&A session? Questions and answers for you. So you can ask me any question you have um, after the class. So guys, uh, thank you very much for being here. We're going to finish this recording because this is a video for the Facebook group. And oh, yeah. so remember, you can find this class right there. You can do these activities with your family, with your friends. And please also remember to stay safe and stay away from uh, from other people that might that might be uh, contagious. So stay safe, take care. Thank you very much. Please do not leave. Por favor, no se salgan. Okay. So thank you very much. Thank you, Manuel.